But the Capitol lawmakers have passed a bill that would put, put a historic $1 billion toward affordable housing. The money comes from the surplus, but also includes a metro-wide sales tax increase to pay for ongoing rent subsidies. The investment comes at a time when affordable housing is harder to find. 214,000 households earn less than half of the area median income and pay more than one third of their income in rent. One out of every four families that qualify for Section 8 rental vouchers won't be able to get one, and the average wait time is more than 10 years. The housing bill that's headed to the governor's desk includes a new state housing voucher program. John Croman is at the Capitol with more. John? Yeah, that state voucher program kind of sounded like pie in the sky wish list kind of dream when they first started talking about it a couple years ago because of the money involved. But that $17 billion surplus and DFL control here at the Capitol turned that into reality. One, two, three. Expect a lot more groundbreaking moments. Hundreds of millions of dollars moving toward construction of new affordable housing and efforts to save what's already out there. Housing crisis that's worsening and to be able to finally meet the moment with funding at this level, uh, it's incredible and it's going to make a huge difference for people. Richfield Democrat Mike Howard is the lead author of the bill that will send $1 billion to affordable housing in the next few years, including for the first time ever, a state version of rental vouchers. Our bill will create 5,000 housing vouchers for families all across the state. The legislation also includes money for first-generation homeowners, in other words, people whose families have always been renters. And for a state that has one of the nation's worst homeownership uh, racial equity gaps, this is a big deal. The controversial part of the package, a new quarter-cent sales tax in the seven-county metro area for ongoing affordable housing. It's the reason Republicans argued against the bill in the Senate. You can decrease the increased cost that Democrats are going to be thrusting upon you by spending your money outside the seven county metro area. I don't know how you look those constituents in the face and tell them you did what you promised them you'd do. With a record surplus, we are seriously talking about and contemplating and getting ready to pass one of many tax increases. Uh, Rep Republicans say that this will backfire because the more money you put into subsidized housing, the higher the rents will go to match that, so it'll have a negligible effect. The Democrats, on the other hand, are calling this.